tomorrow today is the royal wedding. I am so elated to have been the number of those watching, not actually there. Anyway, <laughs> I got up really early this morning and we watched the coverage of the royal wedding. Congratulations to Harry and Meghan. It was such a beautiful ceremony and it gave me hope. Meghan is 36, I am 36, okay? We are gonna get married out here before 40. I am receiving that. I am completely over the rain. It's annoying, I'm tired of it. Uh, and it just, it messes with my, what is it, serotonin levels? Is that what controls like your mood? But I am up and I'm headed to go see the children. I'm going to see karate class and I'm also going to see swim class. I'm gonna see my sisters, hang out with them. I really need to get my whole life together. Last weekend, I never finalized the order for the AIDS Walk t-shirts. The AIDS Walk is tomorrow. I don't have a t-shirt to wear. Not, I don't even think anyone's gonna come. Maybe one or two friends are gonna come, so I kinda wanna have t-shirts for us because the t-shirts that I had from years ago, actually, I can't find them. I need to like create some t-shirts for tomorrow. I don't know how I'm gonna do that or what I'm gonna do. And that is pretty much it. I want to get a good night's sleep because tomorrow, like I said, is the AIDS walk and it takes a lot out of you. It's only about two hours, but it's a lot. That's all that I have planned this weekend. It's a very, very black weekend. It's supposed to rain for another three or four days. This is just insane, you guys. That's what it is. It may not even be a, a good vlog. I may not even post this. Who knows? I don't know. Um, at any rate, let's go see the kids. is my sister Wendy. She made each of us a little bit of breakfast for us to nosh on while we're sitting here watching the kids. I can't even take her. He's waiting for you. Come on. Take Hello. Um, just one. Just one. Nice. <laughs> oh. Alright. Good job everyone. <laughs> Their little class was so cute. Ah, I can't wait to have children. What are you doing, just staring at it? Come on, let's go inside. I just realized that this changes colors. I need this in my life. And then I just order, all do these oils determine the color? No, the color is the I do have Amazon. They come in all shapes and sizes. And then you can buy your oil separately. Thing, three hours, six hours. Oh, yeah, I do see it. You see it? Yeah, one, three, or six hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't Cookies and milk. Woo! Where are we going? In my room. In your room? Yeah. Okay. You have a lot of toys. Yes, I do. Wait, 
What's your price? 25 cents per foot. 25 cents per foot? Mm -hmm. I can, can you do house calls every day? That's awesome. Sure. Taylor, you're really good at this. <laughs> yes, you are. It's okay. You're still a boy. <laughs> it's pussy gross. I'm just not thinking about that your feet were in this water. <laughs> it's just warm water, so I'm going to touch it. You're the best niece in the world. I know. Oh, hello. Are you doing your own pedicure? No. The best is the enemy of the of the good. It's like if you're always trying to make it better, then actually it's a mistake. Because when you have something that makes you happy, then it should be enough already. okay with this and no jacket I mean if it rains I have an umbrella but I'm nervous good morning guys so it is 741 I am headed to the AIDS walk I am doing it solo this year I'm just gonna get out there bang this thing out hour and a half two hours done and done oh my god I never printed out my form oh uh, I forgot to print out from my fundraising headquarters I forgot to print out the money that I raised so I need to run back home really quickly and print that out oh this is so annoying if you guys have not figured it out by now I am always forgetting something I need like a personal assistant when I was younger I used to do like the wallet keys cell phone dance like because I'm always, always forgetting something. I'm always doing like 10,000 one things. So my mind is always in like a thousand places at one time. And I always, always forget something. It never fails. Okay, got the goods. So guys, I started to say before, out of my thousand dollar goal, I hit a thousand dollars I am so excited um, thank you to all of you who supported all of my YouTube fam my Instagram fam you guys mean the world to me. my family my friends everybody who supported thank you guys so much and this is just something I'm gonna keep doing as long as I have legs and I think even if I ever lost the limb I would just hop in a wheelchair and just ride it out the Sun is actually shining and we're gonna rock this thing out Let's go. terrible with parking it says Monday through Friday commercial vehicles Monday through Friday and I think I'm good to park here so guys not I'm only good for always leaving something I am always good for when there's a big event my anxiety takes over and I get there super early it is 8 39 if they haven't even opened the lines to start turning in your money yet. I think that there was like a pre-exercise thing going on in the park, which I should be doing, but my knee is already swelling up. I have some fluid on my knee. I know I should get it taken care of, but I just, I'm that person who works in the medical field who doesn't take care of themselves. So 
yeah, this thing is swollen pretty bad, and I know working out should help it, but I'm just gonna try to like relax, rest it right now, and then um, I'll power through the walk. And you know I have to call my mother. She's like, let me know when you get to the city. What is she doing? Seriously? Hello? What are you doing? Who? You! I was calling you to let you know I made it to the city. Oh, okay. I was downstairs. Oh, okay. I just want to let you know, um... I found on the street parking, and so I think I'm good to go. This is where I normally park when I shop on Fifth Avenue. It's like by, okay. the, it's like by the Gucci store and Trump Tower. Um, I got a good parking spot, and it's like a block away from the park, so. Okay. I am good. I just want to let you know I made it. I love you. I love you, too. Do well. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. This walk is very emotional for me, especially the years like this year. There's only been a couple of years that I've done it by myself, but the years that I do it by myself, I have nothing but time to think and reflect on my father and my parents. And, you know, they were just these young 13 year olds who were in love and they were together for 13 years. And then to just have all of that time and effort and child that you put into a relationship and then to just have it just kind of like blow up in your face i mean it just it just really makes you think um but it also makes me grateful at the same time that i wasn't a product i mean i am a product but i wasn't negatively affected by their tumultuous relationship just being thankful for being open enough you know a lot of times people bottle things up and they deal with they, they don't deal with things, you know? Um, I was gonna say people deal with things differently, but people de don't deal with things. I have a friend whose father died from AIDS and he's like, Shh, so did my father, but don't tell anybody. And, I'm, and you, you just think about how some people are just in bondage by circumstances that are just beyond them. So I'm just thankful that I'm able to walk and fundraise. That's how I heal through this. You know, that's how I heal through not having a father present. It's just by looking at the glass half full and just doing something better, you know, and just saying to yourself, it could be worse. A life could be a lot worse this one goes out to my dad aka my twin guys we look so much alike it's not even funny i remember when i was younger people used to like stop me in the town that my family grew up in. and they're like are you are you dennis's son and i'm like yeah and they're like the resemblance is sickening like it's it's crazy i'm just getting a little emotional i wanted to share that with you guys and um i am going to get out of the car now and head over to the park so guys, really quickly, I'm not carrying a bag, and I'm like, do I bring, I have to bring my keys. I don't want to bring my card case, because like, I'm just wearing shorts, and like, I don't have enough room for all of that, and a bag is going to be too heavy, and I'm thinking, do I bring my umbrella as well? I have no idea, but I kind of need all of these things. I don't know what to do. Duh. I'm always talking to you guys about the six key holder, and... Obviously, I should just throw my license and my debit card in this so that eliminates my card case. $1,000 I um, I get this backpack which is perfect because I can put all my t-shirts in it and there is the crown the Star Walker Club they're like put your crown on so I'm gonna try to wear that at some point throughout the walk 
I don't even know how to work this thing. I see the perforations there, but like, what do you? I'm not. I'm not wearing this. <laughs> Good morning, New York. My name is Kelsey Louie, and I am the proud CEO of Gay Men's Health Crisis. You guys, my feet are like, I can't feel anything right now. As I just wanted to say, we did it, I'm done. I'm going home to soak and relax. Thank you guys all who supported me, who donated, who said a prayer, who are with me in spirit. Mwah. <laughs>